hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel noor networks guys in this tutorial we will see how you will upgrade the firmware for engineers wireless access point ews 355ap so let me log in to the device very first and over here if you will go to the left pane under system manager you will find the option firmware you will see the current firmware for this device is 3.5.2 which is of course not the latest version so guys in order to upgrade the firmware to the latest version what we are going to do is very first we will be downloading the firmware from the engineers website so let's go to the engineers website and download the firmware but before we proceed with the Upgradation what we are going to do is as usual practice a recommended practice. We will be taking the backup of the device So guys on the same page over here you will find the option backup and restore setting So if th this is the one backup setting you will click on export over here and this will Be exporting all your device setting and it will make up one file So if in case something goes wrong, you don't need to do the configuration again simply what you are going to do is you will be restoring the configuration from this particular file. Now let's proceed to the configuration. Very first we will download the file. Uh, over here in the browser, just go to google.com and over here we will go to engineers website, engineerstech.com. Going to this website, engineerstech.com, over here we will try to search the firmware. Over here, the very first option you will see Engineers Firmware Updates. Click on this. Over here, you will see there are multiple firmware on premises controller. Then you have switches. Scroll down, you will find indoor option, indoor wireless. Our access point is indoor wireless. And the model number is EWS355. Let's scroll down and find, try to find our model number. This is our model number, EWS355AP. We will download this. And you will see the download has started it's completed now so now going to our device interface over here what we will do we will be clicking over here on the browse button and we will locate the file which is downloaded it is downloaded in the download folder so i will just browse it locate it and then we'll proceed click on browse button so what i did i have browsed then located the file and just open it over here you will click on upload button over here just add a note that the current version is 3.5.2 okay now it is saying that the flash firmware is verified we will click on proceed button now the upgrade process has started it will take around three to four minutes for the upgrade to complete then the device will reboot till that time what I'm going to do is I will pause the video so when you are upgrading it may take time so don't be worried about why it happened for me early it is not like that just to improve the video quality I will pause the video and guys just one important note I would like to add over here when you are upgrading do not power off the device even you can see over here it is giving you a warning that the system is flashing now do not power off the device wait for few minutes until you try to reconnect once it is up i mean it is rebooted you will get a login page over here and then you can log in and verify the upgraded firmware so guys now the system the device is rebooted and i can see the login page let's log in to the device and we will verify whether the firmware is upgraded successfully or not now it is giving me a warning that the default password is not changed do you want to change the password you want to create a new account let's ignore it for now it is again giving you a warning we strongly recommend you to change your default login account and password please press back to reset for now we'll skip it and we'll set it sometime later let's go to the firmware you will see that earlier it was 3.5.2 and now it is upgraded to the latest version 
which is 3.9.3 so guys this is how you will be upgrading the firmware for a standalone device and in the coming time when we will be doing a labs for the wireless LAN controller over there we will be seeing how you can upgrade the firmware for the managed access points of course that will be a easy and a convenient way over there you don't have to go to the site download it uh, definitely i will be showing you step by step in the coming time so in this tutorial that's all guys if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet please subscribe it now and do share with your friend thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial